So part of our mission at LeCon is to do research besides teaching, and so that's part of our mission. And so anytime we have a new cure and we can give that to the patients and do research on how it's it's working, it's a wonderful opportunity. So we're happy to help Dr. Cirillo in this project. Uh, very good. I mean, Harboni wasn't around until recently, and a lot of people with Hep C were on chronic interferon, which is very toxic drugs. Uh, it's very good that Dr. Cirillo is providing the opportunity potentially for these people to be treated with this, hun this, yeah, this cure, not treated, cured, excuse me. Uh, I'd say a good majority are homeless or squatting somewhere. Uh, most of them indigent. A lot of them have, wear the same clothes to every visit just because they have nothing else to wear. Uh, occasionally, we have a good, a good amount of Spanish speaking. Uh, I couldn't give you like respect, but like I want a, a significant amount of Spanish speaking patients as well. Uh, and, and all of them are definitely uh, people who are in, in some sort of need uh, and definitely don't have the same things that I guess like someone from the middle class could, would, would take granted for like a car or even getting across on the buses, they need bus passes, uh, meals are not guaranteed, etc. But it's, it's very rewarding to work with that population. Yeah, this has been like a really great opportunity just to kind of give back to the community, um, actually being able to use the skills that we've developed over the past four years now to actually make a contribution to the community. So, yeah, can't complain. Hi, I'm Andy Wyatt, another fourth year medical student. I think this is like David, back what David was saying. It's a great opportunity to take care of patients that are less fortunate than us, that are incredibly grateful for the services that we provide them. And uh, there's just a great learning experience because there's a lot of pathology for us to learn from because a lot of these patients haven't been seen by a doctor in a long time. Hi, I'm Nicole Cantwell. I'm another fourth year medical student at LeCom, and working at Turning Points has been a really rewarding experience so far. I agree, it's great to give back to the community and to some patients who really need to get access to care, and I think working with a lot of the volunteer uh, physicians in the area is giving us a lot of access to different perspectives, different specialists come in, and so far my experience with the patients is that they've all been very grateful for the care, so it's been a good opportunity to learn. Uh, hi, my name is Dew Lee. I'm a fourth year pharmacy student here at LeCom, um, Bradenton, Florida. Um, I really like working here at Turning Point. So far, we've been working with the underserved populations. Um, it's not something that you see every day, so being here is really a um, good experience for us to see different populations and for us to also put what we learned in school to practice um, and get us ready for the real world. <coughs> My name is Tanya Dougal. I'm a fourth year pharmacy student from Lecom Bradenton. Um, the experience here at Turning Points has been really rewarding. Um, I feel like no matter what you're doing, you're always helping the patients here. They come from nothing, they don't have much with them, so it's just a great feeling leaving here every day. Hi, I'm Christian Scala. I'm a fourth year pharmacy student here at Turning Points, volunteering with Dr. Scalara and Dr. Vasquez. Being here at Turning Points as a pharmacist is great because we're able to help with the chronic conditions that the patients have. Hi, I'm Sonal Jadeja, fourth year medical student at Lecom Bradenton. And um, Turning Points has been a really great experience. The patients um, really rely on you. I thought I escaped you. I apologize. <laughs> 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 